cooking. You say good morning. You're so yummy. You're so perfect, Caleb. Perfect cheeky little one-year-old ever, <laughs> ever. And your mommy's answered prayer. Your future is so bright. It's so beautiful. <laughs> and you're gonna be an amazing leader to this generation. And you love Jesus. You love your family. We you got daddy's watch. Oh no no no! I don't think daddy wants you playing with that. Does he? Let's go, buddy. Let's go. Are you serious, Caleb? Stop sulking. Bye. Bye. Mama's going. Bye. <laughs> Look how big you got. Good morning. You say good morning, Caleb. You say good morning. I love you so much. Kiss mama. Yeah. So it is Sunday morning. Um, feeling a lot better after yesterday's events with this little man and feeling very grateful and very thankful and spent a lot of time in prayer last night and this morning for everything that happened. But yeah, it's a new day. I'm gonna get this little boy downstairs. We're gonna have breakfast. And Papa's already out the bed because he's working on the kids. I think he's gonna be giving them a bath. And Auntie Liz is here. <laughs> All right, Caleb, let's go. I think you're either hungry or you're fed up with being in bed. So Auntie Liz is working on breakfast. What you making, Auntie Liz? Well, I don't really know yet. It's just it's a vegetable, eggs, omelette, asparagus. That looks so good and healthy. So yesterday's um. <laughs> Yes. Hey, mommy. Good morning. Good morning. You look so pretty. My mom woke up like that. She woke up like this. Mommy's the only one ready for church, and she's wearing this blanket because we currently have a, a heating <laughs> issue in this house. <laughs> and I'm carrying Caleb. Hello. Morning. And I'm trying to feed him at the same time. Caleb, why are you so yeah, shy? Not a morning person. Yeah, it's really not a morning person right now. I'm gonna find Sam. Sam's getting the kids ready. How's it going, baby? Huh? Oh, I think he's sharing the kids. Half time. Half time. It's the. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. I know I can't sing. Robert Ducky. Quack, quack. <laughs> well done, baby. I really appreciate you. Teamwork. Hashtag team. Caleb, you need to have your bath next. See, your brother and sister are already bathing. Enjoying your little shower, then, not you, buddy? Oh, no, what have you done? He's 
turn the poop. Huh? You want daddy? No. Daddy? Daddy! Daddy's upstairs. Come, come, come. made these amazing cookies. It looks like she's made some, what's it, like a bird. So cute. Oh, and there's a bunny there as well. They look so cute. off Liz at the airport so she's now heading back to London because she has work she's a doctor so her schedule can be a little bit unpredictable but we really are missing her and wishing her a safe flight so now in the car it's just hubby nurse who's on driving duty mama's there and all the kiddies are at the back We've got my sister-in-law's kids as well with us we've got four kids no we've got five kids in the car right now this is like when i always think would we ever want more than three kids yes princess these are the moments where i'm like no way baby would you want another child after going through this Easy peasy. i'm more than happy with our three right now for the foreseeable future as well so we are still in Nice. We're hoping to do a little barbecue this evening for Daddy's birthday, 65th birthday. So we're celebrating that. Now we're gonna meet the other gang who are heading over to the beach. Which beach they are to? they are Ken. So the, the beach in Ken is sandy, but the beaches in Nice are pebble beaches. Oh, okay, yeah. So that's why we we're not going here. Decided here to hit the Ken for the sandy beaches. So this is a beach here in Nice. I mean, Nice is just beautiful. Do you research it or someone told you? Uh, I've been loads of times. Yeah, I researched it. <laughs> I love you so much. Yeah, so you researched it. It's Pear Bob, be with the kids. We want them to have, I guess, a more fun experience and enjoy their feet in the sandy beach. So we're going to make the check to Cannes. And obviously everyone knows Cannes, where the film festival is, and just like a beautiful place of fashion and all that good stuff. So I'm excited to see Cannes. And so we are driving there now. How long to drive, babe? Uh, it's about half an hour. Okay, so it's not too bad. I figured while Sam drives, I will just finish off my makeup in the car. I'm gonna put on some eyeshadow, which I kind of rarely do unless I have spare time. I'm going for like a smoky look. I've got my good old MAC palette on me, which I haven't actually used in such a long time. I'm having a little fun now playing around with the colours. Hey, 
so we finally arrived in Cannes. I'm so excited. We're just looking for somewhere to park so we can meet up with everybody else. And this place is so beautiful. By the way, this is how my final makeup look turned out. I was thinking of doing falsies and I was like, I ain't got time for that. So I just kept it simple with some eyeliner and I really, really like this look. Sam is um, looking for parking. It's such a beautiful view. So, so pretty. So we had to find some cafes to take these little ones to the toilet. A lot of people speak English here compared to where we were before where it was like we're trying to do sign language to just communicate but I know toilet now. Double WC. I'm not sure about my accent though. But yeah we shall see everyone in a bit. keep on cutting out literally you'll be like cooking or ironing or something it trips the whole house so you can't even have a shower because everything's electric but we're hoping they're going to resolve it soon we have been to the on the phone to the owners quite a few times so um not so happy about this part but everything else has been going well except for that so we actually had a cold shower this morning so hopefully it'll be sorted out soon but that is not going to dampen our stay so charles is doing the barbecue what's yeah. on the barbecue Got duck and pork and some um, sausage slices. Mm. Uncle Charles has lost his voice on this trip. Yes. Too many kids. <laughs> Looks good. I love this little barbecue set that they've got. It's yeah, so it's nice. Good. It's such a shame. I can't really show you the view because it's so dark now, but it's really pretty. Look at inside. Playing. Oh, they're so cute. I love it. There's actually more, but they're in the other house, which is there. There's two of their cousins. What number is on your tops, guys? 65. 65. Why are you wearing 65? Why? Because it's Grandpa's birthday and he's 65 years old. Good job. It's Grandpa's 65th birthday. We should all wear the same thing. So we are. We're all wearing the same thing, including me. Even I'm rocking it. I'm rocking my 65. Everyone's rocking it, even Sam's mum as well. You're rocking your 65. See, man, I'm cooking this. Oh, yeah, that's you. Oh, that looks good. <laughs> Mommy, who made these shirts? I did. You did. And they're awesome. <laughs> Now it's too late 